What's up, Star Wars fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, back with another unboxing video. This time, I'll be taking a look at the 6-inch Star Wars Black Series Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary Edition figure of Admiral Akbar. The figure comes on this high-quality foil retro card. The back of the card features a brief biography of Admiral Akbar in five different languages. If you would like to read any of these, just hit pause and do so now. Mint on card collectors should be very happy with this retro design as well as the quality of the packaging. And now let's bust open this package and see what's inside. Here's the figure, free of the card and bubble, but still in the inner plastic. And here's Admiral Akbar, free of the package and ready to rumble. This figure has some amazing sculpting and some very attractive paint applications. However, there are some severe articulation issues. So let's take a closer look at the loose details now. The figure comes with two accessories, and it does take a little work to get these into Akbar's gripping hand. Here we see the baton, and he also comes with this blaster. These are both a solid black, but they're both excellent in terms of sculpting, so I certainly appreciate that. I'm very impressed with the lower body in terms of appearance. There's lots of wrinkles sculpted into the pants, the yellow stripes are very precisely applied. However, there is some paint missing from the torso attire, and this is also not very pliable, so it limits the torso articulation. But here's a closer look at the arms. There's plenty of good sculpting here. These are very screen accurate. I like the color choice. Here's a look at the figure from behind. Once again, I'm very impressed with the lower body, as well as the head sculpt on this figure. Hasbro did an excellent job with the head shape as well as the paint applications on the eyes. And you can see the wrinkle sculpted into the forehead. This is excellent work. In terms of articulation, the feet move backward and forward at the ankle joints, although mine are very tight. The figure does have this knee hinge and that will allow you to get the figure into a running pose. He has the quadricep swivel. And the attire allows you to move the legs out from the body that much. Once again, the torso does not move well at all. Here's a look at the articulation in the wrists as well as the elbows. You can get the arms to move up from the body this much. So you can get the big wingspan pose and a 360 at the shoulder joint. But there's almost no movement at the head other than at the mouth. So collectors who really value dynamic posing may be a little disappointed. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this review, and remember to tell all of your friends about this channel. I would certainly appreciate it. And I'll be back with more Star Wars content soon. But until we meet again... This has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.